I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my subscriber. So let me thank my subscriber for posting excellent questions. It is based on trigonometry compound angles. The question is give the exact value of cos square pi by 8. Now we'll use uh, compound angle formulas to solve this question. To give you a background, uh, let's say we have cos uh, a plus b, right? So cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b, correct? Now, because some of you may not remember the formula, so if uh, if a equals to b, if a equals to b, in that case we could write this as cos 2a, replacing b with a equals to cos a times cos a, which is okay okay let me write first cos a minus sine a sine a right so if i make a equals to b then we get cos of 2a equals to cos square a minus sine square a now you also know that sine square a could be written as 1 minus cos square a correct now let me write down here uh, you know cos square a plus sine square a equals to 1 so I could always write sine square a as 1 minus cos square a so so we could write this as cos square a minus 1 minus cos square a is it okay that is cos 2a so cos 2a is equal to when you open this bracket we get cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a so cos 2a is equals to 2 times cos square a minus 1 so that's the formula which we are going to use to solve this this is the double angle formula which we are going to use to find exact value of cos square pi by 8. So if I replace a with pi by 8, then what happens? So then we get cos of 2 times pi by 8 equals to 2 cos square pi by 8 minus 1. Do you see that? So if I make a substitution here for angle A, which is pi by 8, then see what we get. Now, we'll rearrange this, right? So 2 cos square pi by 8 is what? Let me rewrite this first and then we'll do the needful. I'm writing this on the right side. Is equals to cos of 2 times pi by 8. Is it okay? Now we can say 2 cos square pi by 8 is taking 1 on this side. Cos of 2 and 8 gives you pi by 4 plus 1. Do you see that? We want to find exact value of cos square pi by 8. So we could write this as shown here what is cos pi by 4 cos pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 so that's what we get you write this as 1 now we need to rationalize this right so so okay first let me write this as common denominator now that is not a good way of writing normally we rationalize this that is to say we multiply and divide by square root 2 so that is called rationalization once you do that we get square root 2 times 1 as square root 2 square root 2 times square root 2 which is 2 square root 2 times square root 2 is 2 right so this is what you get as your answer so the exact value of cos square pi by 8 is indeed this perfect so how should you do it you should do it starting from the formula itself this is a very useful formula you can say what is cos of 
2 theta equals to that is equals to 2 cos square theta to cos square theta minus 1. You don't have to do all this. I did this just to explain you. Now you can rearrange this formula, right, and say 2 cos square theta is equal to cos 2 theta plus 1, right? Yeah, I thought I did a mistake. Plus 1, that's correct. Now, that's true. Now, you should start from here, right? Start from here. That's a standard formula. Rearrange the formula and then say let theta equals to pi by 8. Is it okay? And then you continue as we did. Do you see that? And then you come back to this piece. So only these couple of steps, four steps, you actually get your answer. Rationalize. We call the steps as rationalize. Right. What Z or S, whatever. And you get your exact value. And we can say answer is answer. Square root 2 plus 2 over 2. Is it okay? So that is how it should be done. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always subscribe and share my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.